the Lancia Delta HF Integrale, a rally legend idolized for its race successes and disparaged for its unreliability. Is it a cult car or junk? Starnberg near Munich. Franz Walter from the Delta team is an Integrale addict and owns four of them. It's real driving. It's just an experience to drive these cars. There's no other way to put it. It's like a bug. Either you catch it or you're immune. The great thing is that most people catch it. Yes. Right from the ignition, the car oozes racing charm. And when the Lancia fan whistles around corners with the pop-off valve hissing, it sends endorphins flowing from head to toe, guaranteed. For me, there's nothing else like the Lancia Delta, because visually and in terms of performance, there's still no other car currently on the road that can match it. This is also due to its rally successes. Six world championship titles in a row, from 1987 to 1992. Opponents trail in its wake and eat the dust of Delta's various 8 or 16 valve configurations. The compact saloon was originally a stopgap solution, though. After a rule change, Lancia was forced to outfit the seven-year-old bodywork with four-wheel drive and turbo engines, which led to phenomenal success. On the bumpy sand slopes of the Safari Rally and the icy serpentines of Monte Carlo, the legend of the Lancia Delta HF Integrale was born. Matthias Rössner from the Delta team owns one of the original Group N rally cars with 240 horsepower and a short gear transmission ratio. His teammates rave about it on site. What I really love about this car is that you can see the signs of its age and it's completely natural. It's crazy, the car has been used pure and simple. What is it, the vintage car enthusiasts say? It just has a certain patina. You put a lot of work into maintaining it. That's important. Oil checks are vital. And you have to keep the dipstick clean. Apart from that, the engine is actually almost original. Like the mass-produced models, the Rally Delta takes a lot of care. With good upkeep, it is still doing its job without complaint 15 years on. The 2-litre turbo with air intercooler produces 300 newton meters of torque. On loose surfaces, the four-wheel drive system controls the traction. So here we have the Lancia Integralis four-wheel drive system, which consists of a central differential with an epicyclic gear set. Additionally, connected to the central differential, we have a Ferguson Visco coupling, which is then engaged depending on slippage, and then there's the transfer case with power takeoff. Then at the back we come to the torsion rear axle differential, which controls the best torque for the wheel, depending on the wheel's traction with the road, so that more power can be transmitted. The four-wheel drive system works reliably, but many turbochargers are burned out before their time. The cause? Insufficient maintenance and cheap oil. The unit needs attentive care and careful driving. It's an old-school turbo engine and needs to be handled in the appropriate way. Many people don't know this and can end up breaking a lot of things. Don't drive it too warm or cold. These are deadly sins with a turbo engine. If you don't pay attention to that, it's nothing exclusive to the Integrale. Every turbo engine will react badly. In the skillful hands and with expert feet on the gas pedal, the Integrale can break the 200,000 kilometer mark, provided that the electronics last. These cars undergo a certain wear, but they're no different from any other car in that respect. I would say they are entirely suitable for everyday use. The Lancia Delta Integrale's bad reputation comes from the fact that their tuning is often not carried out properly.
Well, the negative image isn't completely pulled from thin air. Lanchias, just like Fiat's and Alfa Romeo's, suffer under insensitive handling and often give up the ghost. With specialist tuning, however, the Italian racer has enormous potential, but that costs a pretty penny. You do have to be round the bend to do this for yourself. It's a constant investment. White is the color of innocence, as if. The Integrale can go from 0 to 100 in just five seconds. The gearbox and four-wheel drive are original, but the engine has been radically modified. The engine has been completely reconstructed. Everything has been rebuilt, even down to the pistons, the whole inner workings. Fan manifolds, motorsport turbocharger, Bosch Motronic, and whole new fuel injection system, unmarked Morellis. In terms of performance, we have an output of just under 330 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. And to slow the whole thing down again, we have also really good brakes in there that work well. With such power, 250 kilometers per hour are easily achievable, even with dreadful aerodynamics. When it comes to appearance, opinion is polarized about the brick-shaped body with its double headlights, air intakes, and wheel flares. When buying one of these, expert advice is essential. Sadly, there are many cars put on the market with several hidden defects, and the repairs that follow are usually extremely expensive. With high prices for replacement parts and high running costs, driving an Integrale is an expensive hobby, but when you're bitten by the bug, you're completely infected. You have to be crazy to do it, definitely. The love for this car, we had a yellow Fiat Sedici in 1993, and that was actually the moment when I said I couldn't ever let this car go. My father sold this car back then because it was very expensive at that time and was actually obsolete, to be honest. The bodywork has 25 years under its belt, while the technology underneath is still up to date, a unique mixture. The Lancia Delta is like a classy, passionate woman who just occasionally likes to nag.